Hi friends, so it's another HVAC video. Today we're gonna to make some progress on installing this ACIQ. I'm gonna call it a mega split because it's not a multi-split, it's not a mini split. It's a big mini split style condenser with a air handler that these two play nice together. And, it, and one of the things that's really cool about this unit is it can go from 7,000 BTUs of demand all the way up to 50,000 BTUs demand. That's a little over four tons, even though, so it can go from half ton to four ton, even though it's nominally rated as a three ton unit. That's pretty incredible. Anyway, if you like the video, remember to hit like, subscribe, and the little bell icon so you'll find out when there's new videos. So anyway, the first thing we gotta do is we gotta have some place to mount this. I'm gonna mount it on the wall. I got a friend coming over to help me a little bit later. He's gonna help me carry this upstairs and he's gonna help me carry this outside and get it mounted to the uh, wall. Not gonna get it installed today. I don't have that much time to play with it, but I'm gonna make some pretty good progress and it's gonna start to feel like I could have central air conditioning again, which is gonna be awfully cool. I'm expecting this unit to be radically more efficient than the Goodman, or as I like to call it, good for nothing man, unit that was installed that uh, I lost the communicating portion of it in uh, 2019 or 2020 due to uh, design flaws in the, in the control board, no surge protection on the network. That, that's really stupid. Uh, that's a Honeywell fault, probably at Goodman's demand for cheaper products. Um, and then the compressor shorted out uh, and died um, last month. And you know, that's really frustrating for a seven year old unit. And that's clearly a design flaw. Um, and if Goodman didn't have their obnoxious warranty that says if a um, licensed AC person doesn't install it, you don't get any warranty. Well, yeah, I'm not gonna buy another Goodman or Dakin unit ever again if I can help it. Um, because in Texas, it's legal for me to do my own work and I have the EPA certifications and I've installed about a dozen of these. And yeah, I don't, the only reason I would need a license from the state is if I wanted to do this work for others. Other than that, it's not licensed and it shouldn't ha I shouldn't have those warranty restrictions. Those are really um, not right. But this is Texas and we don't actually look out for anybody here. It's fend for yourself state, um, unless you're an unborn child. Anyway, that's another discussion. So let's get busy with this. Let me get the bracket out and I'll show you the pieces to it. So I ordered these brackets online. Uh, okay, I guess I, I thought it was wrapped. So, you know what, we're gonna get this out the easy way. See how easy that box opens when you cut it in half? These are actually pretty decent kits. It was about $40 on eBay with free shipping, which really means it was about $25 because uh, UPS won't take a fart for less than 20 bucks, much less deliver a box. Be right back. Okay, so the way this works is it comes with some hardware which you can use to secure the unit. Uh, that's what's in, or actually the hardware is in there. This bag is mostly junk. Um, I guess you could use these lag screws if you had a wood house, but I don't, so I'm not going to. This bag will just go straight to recycling. And then um, this mounts, um, it's really nice. It's got a bubble level built in. Um, so this mounts on the wall. And then the way these work is these hang uh, they slide onto here. And this is much harder to do free like this, but they, they just hang on here. So I wanna take some measurements and then I'm gonna start getting them mounted on the outside. I'll be right back. So I guess on an install video, I should show you what I'm actually doing. So I wanted to make sure this is wide enough and it looks to be wide enough. And then what I'm gonna do is I wanna bring it down here and I wanna figure out where I want the brackets to hang. So that looks about right. And I'm gonna get a Sharpie and I'll be right back. So this unit's heavy and even with help, I'm not gonna have time to play with it. Um, let me mount this so you guys can see what I'm actually doing. Um, I'm not gonna have time to play with it. Even with a friend helping them, it's, it's gonna be a difficult lift. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark the center of the bolts so I know where to put the brackets. And that's what that is. And so that'll very easily let me see where exactly to position the brackets to get them within, basically where they need to go within an eighth or a quarter of an inch. So uh, 
Next step in this process is outside on the wall. I'm gonna put some mosquito bait or spray on so that I don't get eaten alive out there. And uh, then I'm gonna get, we'll, we'll be back over there in a second. So the only real shortcoming in, and I'm using Tapcon fasteners, you need a Tapcon bit to tap it and then, um, but anyway, the only real shortcoming in this is the flanges on the screws aren't big enough. So I'm using quarter inch uh, lock washers to give it a little more holding power down here. So anyway, let's get set up and figure out where, how this is gonna mount. And I think I already see pretty much what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and just roughly assemble this for a second so I can figure out where I want it. And then I do want to move this over a little bit. It's, but I did want it down further. Yeah, that'll work. I can put it down here. So I'm gonna bring it right up underneath this box. And that's a good location for it. Well, maybe over a little bit, but yeah, it's gonna go right underneath here. So that's gonna get that done. So what I gotta do is look to make sure I've got a clear vertical fastening path below my marks. Um, Okay, so I've put a little indentation there. That makes it really easy to come back and drill these. Now, where was the second one? Right, right there. These are very soft bricks, but it doesn't matter. It'll do the job. Don't over drill them. You do want to set up your screws so that it is a fairly uh, straight shot to install. So what I mean by setup so you put the go ahead and put the washers on them. It's just less to mess with when you're trying to hold it up. Now if you have a magnetic bit driver like this, that makes your life a little bit easier. Um, don't when you put these in, you just want to snug them until you get all four of them in and then you can level it. It doesn't have to be perfectly level, but you know, why not do a quality job? You know, there's no reason to do a crappy install job. There just isn't. Have a little pride in your work, even if you are DIY. And, you know, as I was saying, One of the reasons you don't want to snug them, these, especially in soft brick like this, you're just not going to get that many. You're not going to put the fastener in a bunch of times like you would with, say, wood. And when you do put it in, you don't want it to be super tight because you'll strip out the holes and then you won't do anything. So all you do to put these in is just slide these over like that. And you really want to be in the mortar, not the brick. I mean, in the brick, not the mortar.
So normally I wouldn't do anything more, but I don't feel like, I feel like this is an awful lot of weight for this brick and brick is a veneer. It's not really structural. So I'm gonna go ahead and put four more in and anchor this down because I don't want it to move. Okay, and same thing applies, just bring them in, but don't snug them down. All right, now we're gonna snug this one down. I think that's good enough. All right, so that's it. Brackets installed. Uh, what's what's left to do is to bring the unit out here and set it up, and then I'm going to bend these and bring them up to where they need to be for the connection. This wire will get replaced with communications wire. It's for mini splits. This is thermostat wire, which isn't right. That's abandoned in place because we're not going to use it. Once the unit's set, I'll relocate this box somewhere up over here and I'll bring power over to this location and put in my drip loop. Um, so, until my buddy gets here, I don't have a whole lot to do. So I'm going to go call him and see uh, where he's at. All right, so while I'm waiting for my buddy, uh, to come over. He's on his way. I'm going to go ahead and remove the packing bolts. Well, that's bigger than I thought it was. That one's going to be a pain in the ass. I'll get the ones in the back first. just going to be a pain in the ass. So these are 13 millimeter, but a half inch um, wrench will work.
What a pain. There we go. So now it's free. All right, so now for the fun part, we're gonna take it off. And we're gonna take it off from this side. And you wanna be a little right of center because all the weight's on this end. And next, I'm gonna get rid of this uh, mini pallet. I'm gonna go put it in the trash. Okay, so what we're doing, so this is the, the new unit. You can come on camera, it ain't gonna bite you. Hi. This, this is my friend Marty. He's gonna be helping me move this beast into position. Um, so, you know, it's actually probably a little smaller than a conventional unit, but it's, a, it's 160 pounds. So that's what's gonna make it a challenge for us. So. One of the questions is, do we, we can't really strap it because we don't want to bend any of the coils on this side. Most of the weight is here for the compressor, like down there in that end. So we could tilt it back and run it around the side of the house in the grass. The only thing is um, the yard is anything but smooth. And then we got to deal with tree roots. The other option, which would be just as much pain in the ass as put it in the back of the truck, drive the truck around there, and then all we have to do is lift it into the truck and lift it out of the truck. Um, yeah, what are your thoughts? Shit show in the grass or? Shit show in the grass. Okay. Um, so when you, you grab it, this, can you bring it up on edge? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I can tilt it back on the dolly. So this is a place to grab it. Oh. Um, here is a place to grab it. Oh, there's a handle here and you can grab it here and here, but don't resist the urge to do this because these fins will cut you. And this is China's best engineering, which you know, whatever you fucking China right makes here? everything. Huh? Yeah, um, and I, I want to see if there's anywhere I can even strap that. See, there's, that's the problem is there's not like a solid thing that I could strap. Because sure, you're going to smash everything right in. Yeah, I think. No, actually, I think I, may, I might be able to run some. Let me see if I got my keys or if I left the truck unlocked. Never leave the truck unlocked. Uh, I don't think I have any straps in my car. I, I've got two straps in the door. Let me grab my keys. I've got a, a strap. Yeah, I got a better strap. All right. And because this is YouTube, we can cuss. It's not like it's PBS. See, I've got a nice Harbor Freight, or as I like to call it, horrible freight. Mine is cool. Done. So, I honestly don't know why some of the folks watch my videos. Um, some of them watch it and make snide comments. I'm sure the. HVAC people will feel very threatened and make comments about how I should or shouldn't do this, but frankly, they can kiss my ass because HVAC really stands for has violations and concerns because most systems do. So the trick to this is that, and then if you'll just kind of that this is really a lot easier with two people now the funny thing is I think the guy across the street um, 
does HVAC work. <laughs> but he never hardly comes over and talks to me and I'm not gonna ask him to do anything. Um, so. Damn, Brian, with all your shit, I thought, I'd have thought you'd had a real dolly. What kind of real dolly would that be? <laughs> a, real Here, dolly, a real dolly without $2 wheels on it. <laughs> Wait, um, you, you know what? Let me, here. hang on a second. I want to move my truck. That way I don't have to navigate yeah, the obstacle course. Around. Hey, why don't, why don't we go out in the street and just come straight up? I don't know that it's that better, that much better. All right. Um, so what I need you to do is just kind of stabilize. Actually, you know what? I got a project for you. You can hold the camera. Wait, watch you, watch you pull it. Yeah. So just um, if you tap the screen, it'll show you, it'll show you what you're watching. Because it feels pretty stable. I actually don't think it's going to go anywhere. Those are always the famous last words. Mm-hmm. But now strapping it in seems to have. Not nah, something good. There's a reason I went that way. So we got to get this off here. I told you about the sprinkler head that popped loose. That, that's the $1,000 sprinkler head that used $1,000 for water. Oh my God, no, I didn't know that. Yeah, a couple months. You didn't know it was broken? Nope, not until I got a water bill. Cause uh, yeah. City of Houston will send me everything, but I notice that I've used a whole lot of extra water. Mm-hmm. Now you were asking me something about my flowers. Oh yeah, I was wondering when you're gonna plant your flowers in the flower bed between the grass and the house. When I have a husband, cause that'll be his problem, not mine. Um, all right, so let me explain how this works. So these little feet here should line up exactly there. That's the heavy end. Are you sure you want that? No, I'm gonna let you hurt your back. <laughs> Gee, thanks. What are friends for? Um, remember, there's a handle over there. So that's really the only place and the bottom that you should lift from right here. Unfortunately, it's... Um, I'm just going to pick it up from oh, the bottom. I, I can get this from the handle. Ready? Yep. Are we high? Okay. A little your way. You're on. That's it. No, no, don't, don't, the, the legs will move. Oh, I was trying to line it up. Oh, yeah. Okay. There you go. Pull yours out a little bit. All right, actually just stay put because I don't want it to fall off. Bolt, bolt one and then. Yeah, I will. I got it if you want to grab the bolts. So, doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. 
so it's more than bolts. You know, nothing I do can be just simple and easy. <laughs> oh, you have vibration. Yeah. Rubbers. By the way, that air conditioner that was making all the noise on my house. Yeah, what was that? I put the foam blocks under it and replaced the four by four blocks that were under it. And stop rattling? It cut the noise by about 80%. Wow. So now I gotta get three more foam blocks for the other three air conditioners. <laughs> That's the little weenie truck. When the girls won't notice your weenie, you get a big muffler. That way, they're at least fooled into thinking there's something powerful. All right. Slip those in. I'll lift it up. Well, yeah. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't destabilize it. So you want to generally lift this up one side at a time. Okay, so come over to my side. I'm going to have you lift up just this. Back side. Huh? Let me get on the back side. Yeah. Don't lift too much, though. A little more. Okay. Back side's in the A little air. bit more. All right. All right, go ahead and lift it up just a little bit. Shit. I want to do the back side. Ouch, first. damn it. it. The back side is way off, way high. It's okay because. It'd be easier. You got it? Well, yeah, I remember I'm jamming a half inch thing in here, so. All right. Now I got to get in the corner. And that's already in the air. Fucking sweat to death. Yeah, the reason it's really high is because, remember, we're. we're Jacking up one side. Wait, damn it. Um, I need this side lifted, Marty. Not that side. No, 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 no. This. Okay. This is one of these times where being partially blind in my left eye is fucking with me. Because I can't see. Um, Would it be easier to go downward? No, I can't. <clears throat> I can't see uh, completely what I'm doing back here. Want me to do it? No, I've oh, got it. There's a dozen ways to skin a cat. These are two of them. All right, you can set it down. Because at that point, that one's anchored. Now I've got to do the same thing on this side. The back one's pretty much lined up. But okay, well, hang on. Let me look. Do the front first. Let me let me look because the. Oh, yeah, let's do this one first. Need it lifted or is it? No. Yeah, I need it to lift up. You can lift it from the bottom. All right. Tell me when I can let go. Let go. Shit, I, I'm just gonna wiggle it in here. So part of the challenge is that it's up inside this, this channel. Oh. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah.
Now you see why I wanted to mount it up a little bit? Mm -hmm. So one of the tricks to this is don't tighten them until you've got all the bolts loosely installed. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, it's got to come a little bit back, doesn't it? Yeah, but you got to pick it. It's not wanting to go back. I, I know, you're, you're... Okay, you got to pick it up from here. Because when you're... There we go. Hang on, a little bit more. Um, I'll just work this in with the screw. The screw. Yeah. Because I really want it as far away as possible. Yeah. Because that gives it better airflow. All right. You can. You don't have to hold it. It's. I mean, it's holding itself. It's on there now. Huh? It's on there now. Yep. And if it drops, I got other issues, which wouldn't be unheard of. But now all my neighbors will be like, "What's that?" Because yeah, these aren't real common in the United States. All right, I gotta get a half inch wrench because that one's in a stupid spot. It's not exactly level and I really wish it was. Well, I was going to ask you, shouldn't you have a second bolt in these? What? Back here? On these? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It didn't come with two? <laughs> Not that I know of. Why? Do you think it needs two bolts? It's a lot of weight on one bolt. It's true. Let me go look. I'll be right back. All right. There are some extra bolts, so mm, we'll see if they go in here. Um, they're, they're sleeve bolts. So I need you to pick up this side, just... Is that enough? No. Yes. Hey, what do you know? <laughs> All right. Can I let go? Yeah. Same thing on the other side. All right. Lift up on the door. No, I think it's good. You know, I still may come back and build like a little support for it because I just. I, it seems a little wonky. Yeah, I agree. Even if it's a bracket to up here, even. Well, so the other option is to mount it to the pad, but then I've got a whole set of coils exposed. I know the pad ain't going nowhere. Bolt it down. Yeah, I mean. That keeps it from going anywhere. I mean, it ain't any easier to steal off of this than it is off of that. Yeah, I don't think it's a theft issue, honestly. 
I was more worried about weed eaters and dogs. I don't know, what do you think? I don't like it. No? Hmm. So, yeah, the, the real issue here is it's a brick veneer wall and brick veneers are not load bearing in any way, shape or form. Um, and that bracket with all this weight is pulling outward. Yeah, yeah, and these are shit bricks to begin with. Yeah, let's, let's take it, as much as I hate to say it, let's take it down and we'll abandon the bracket and put it on the pad like the old, it, it, it fits fine on the pad. I mean, you know, 20 minutes ago we could have done this, but. Honestly, I think it's gonna be easier to get your coils into here on the pad too. Uh, so. It might be, but this is a different size. This is a 5 8 so this, yeah. the big one is the suction line. The little one is the liquid line. Liquid line's a 3 8 so that's where it sends the, the compressed refrigerant back. And then this is the vapor line that, that comes back to get compressed again, and this is, a 7 8 and this is a 5 8 so I've got to adapt it and that's got to be brazed because we do everything ass backwards and <clears throat> so the first step is just to get these off the bolts loose if you can just kind of stabilize it I'm gonna hold it in place I'm gonna do this one last because it's the trouble one. I sure hope City Cafe is open today. I can't imagine why it wouldn't be, but I've seen, you know all sorts of bullshit these days. Okay. Ready? Ready. Okay. Come my way. Yep. Here, let's lift it up. And then. I like that a lot better. Yeah. You look your coils. Right I think it actually can come out a little more. Go a little way. Yeah. Because that keeps it away from weed eaters and dog piss the only thing is now this is a this is a jump but it's not the end of the world i mean in theory i could run the conduit straight over but then there's nowhere to attach the disconnect i'm not screwing anything into the side of this well if you're doing wouldn't you want it all the way back if you want doing flex conduit huh are you doing flex conduit out of here to there yeah, that's the idea is to protect it. Um, closer. And this may, I, I'm, I have to figure out how I'm going to do this because that's not going to reach. But I'm not going to let, I'm not going to let like the tubing tell me where to put the equipment. I want to put the equipment in the right spot and I'll figure the tubing out later even if it costs me a few hundred dollars. Um, what I'm probably going to have to do is buy a 10 foot line set to get two or three feet of it. So whatever, it's it's it it's cheaper than paying Sparky's violation and and air conditioning company to come fuck with my shit in three or four days when they get around to it. Um, let me go get the drill to drill these in. Now, for my viewers, in case you're thinking of being a little bitter about air conditioning guys, I am. Most of them are hacks. Most of them don't know how to run a manual J, a manual D, or a manual S, and most of them don't do their job properly. So yes, I'm bitter.
surprising, isn't it? Let me get a bit for these. Is your Makita this good? It is. Ah. It is. But I already own a bunch of DeWalt, so I could give a crap less about Makita. Yeah, these things are like a buck fifty now. No surprise there. <laughs> I think it's because they can price. I wonder if I had smaller screws in there last time. I bet I did. Let me get those. You know, I had the other one anchored down because when I bought this house, I was afraid somebody would steal the air conditioner if they could see it. Because, you know, I don't know what HPD actually does, but it's not responding to crimes. I mean, I heard they don't even that respond to retail burglaries. Now I gotta get a, I'll get a screwdriver or a pair of pliers or something. Do you wanna go see if you can find a pair of pliers? Uh, second, the top large drawer in the black tool chest. if this one's going to go in this is such a shitty location if they would just extend this like an inch it wouldn't be a problem huh what do you know uh would you hand me one of the little bolts it's way faster with help does alex help you with any of your shit none oh. only bolts when I have a landscaper, I shouldn't expect any help. Like these. Yeah, that'll work. That's not the ones I wanted, but. I think that one's ready to go to recycling. Did it strip? Of course. So you and Jane need one medium length. What do you have in the wall over here? All along. Yeah. You know what? It's just to anchor it down. Try a new one. So this will turn out to be $45 wasted. Whatever. You're blocking the camera. So this certainly opens up some possibilities in terms of where the uh, boxes end up. And I bought the Square D version because I'm going to get away from these piece of shit GE ones. Uh, ask me later, I'll tell you what I really think. <laughs> <laughs> I have some Federal Pacific you can have. <laughs> I don't need any fires today, thanks. <laughs> It would look pretty bad if, uh, given that I teach classes about Federal Pacific, if I was to um, install one. Although, you, do you still have the boxes? No, I got Damn them. Damn it. Because I was going to say, it might be interesting to demo them and see, like, that make a good YouTube video. That would have been a good one. Um, all right. <clears throat> so this is the shit show out here. So ultimately, the solution to the stripped holes is just a redrill. This is just to hold it down. Let me go 
we'll get a couple more of those. I'll be right back. It'd be nice not to have wasted twenty dollars worth of bolts but whatever it's just fucking installation cost <clears throat> i haven't heard from the uh, frame shop i think maybe next week i'll get the jeep back probably call me the day that i go to D dallas is the day they'll call me and tell me it's ready i haven't even seen the jeep you haven't mm -hmm. no just pictures oh all right well, Maybe we could drop by on the way to lunch. God damn oh, it. Really? Damn you had Twice? It. Motherfucker. See? Makita's wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> See your blasphemy? Milwaukee. They're coming for you not, now. Not Makita, Milwaukee. believe that broke but then again More powerful than the drill less powerful than the drill you hang out long enough you'll get to have me exercise my whole cuss word vocabulary on camera mm-hmm You wonder why my shoes last as long, but whatever. Now it's solid. It's not like it's gonna make that much noise. It's not a good for nothing, man. That's what I call those pieces of shit. All right, let's clean this stuff up. All right, so the next step is to figure out how we wanna strap and move this. Um, it actually weighs almost as much as the other thing. So what I'm thinking is put it on the dolly and then we can wrestle it up the stairs. But I need to turn it on its side to look at it real quick. That needs to come out for sure. I wonder if the other side's heavier. No. Go. Yeah. Small strap. Yes. Your strap's not still out, so. I can grab it. It's a whole lot easier to use. Yes, it is. But you know what? This one's here, and yeah. I really think this is the future of what ACs are going to look like to get as efficient as they need to get. Is they're going to look like the one out there where it has two small fans that um it makes way more sense that's why the rest of the world does it that's why the rest of the world is on um, metric and we have our head up our ass in this country worried about god and guns i started to get political at the beginning of this podcast where i would say you know it's texas where it's fend for yourself unless you're an unborn child and then as soon as you're born so fuck you fend for yourself again mm -hmm. All right, uh, all right. You, um, why don't you bring it this way? Let me get the other door open and I'll help you through this.
And then, hang on a second, I'm gonna grab the camera and reposition this. That way if something stupid happens, at least you won't turn around with that. And no need to work hard here. And, um, okay, look. I see your coils. No, 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 look, yeah, that. I, I'm more worried about that over there. And then want to go that way with it and pause. And then the fun part. Yeah. You're going to pull. I am? You, or you want me to? Yeah. For your back? <laughs> uh, for my knees. For your knees. <laughs> I can lift a lot better than I can. In fact, I just want to pick it up. That'll work. I can go all the way. Huh? I can go all the way. Okay, I gotta pause. All right. There's steep ass stairs. They are steep. One more. Oh, that one. Yeah, I'm on. No, no. Keep going in. <laughs> I'm gonna push in. Nope. Pull in, push in. Yep, yep, that's good. I think it's not long COVID. I think it's just fat and old. <laughs> no, it's long COVID. 105. Heartbeat? Heartbeat. Resting is 55. Yeah, it's because you don't run anymore. Mm -hmm. Maybe you need to go to work and let the bad people chase you. <laughs> Is that an employee benefit? That's the health and wellness benefit now. Don't say where. I chased one out yesterday. Oh, well. All right, let's take all this shit down. I think lunch is in order. Sounds good.